Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Gemini. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is uh, for the week of April 19th through the 25th. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid and not every reading is for you. Spiritual awakening. So you may be going through some sort of spiritual awakening during this time. I'm going to go ahead and put this one back in and see what comes up. But somebody is going through a spiritual awakening. Okay. So what do we have for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the week ahead? What do we have for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Please show me what we have. Younger woman. We got a younger woman involved here somewhere. Ooh, you know, I think you guys got this last time. This is not going away. This is not going away. We, we got a problem. This, you know, this hasn't come up for anybody else. Somebody is watching you from behind the scenes. Okay? There is no doubt about it. Somebody is watching you from behind the scenes. You could have a stalker here or just somebody that is hiding themselves for some for some reason. Huh. Well, 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 well. Hiding behind a screen. Aries. Could be an Aries. Could have something to do with Aries season which we are in right now. But Aries season is ending this week. And we are switching over to Taurus season. So it may, you know, hmm, you could be dealing with an Aries or you could be dealing with, uh, well, Aries is, is uh, March, what is it, March 20th to, March 21st. March 21st to April. 20th. Something that has happened during that time. <laughs> what do we got here? What do we have for Gemini? 222. Two, two. Twos are about faith and trust, partnerships, unions, uh, choices, changes. Soulmate reunion. Tools are about soulmates as well. Some, and this is like, I was going to say somebody from your past because this is, this is past to present to future. So we got something going on here. I feel like there's somebody from your past that is watching you. Huh. Spring. Spring is Aries season. Interesting, interesting. Something to do with springtime. Maybe you met this person in the spring or they're born in the spring. You met them during Aries season. Something to do with an Aries or Aries season or springtime. Something is blossoming. Maybe it's blossoming right now during Aries season. Hmm. Six months. Now, I'm not sure if you had this or not. Something six months. Six months from now, there's going to be a partnership of some sort. Twos are about partnerships. Now, when we get soulmate reunion, people automatically think that it is one of their exes, right? And this, this is somebody from the past. It is. Now, now don't get your panties in a bunch. Okay, if you don't like the person from your past, a soulmate is somebody that we have a soulmate connection with probably from our past, okay, from a past life even. Okay, this may not be your ex. This could be somebody that you have a soulmate connection with that you are going to have a reunion with at this time. Maybe you meet them in the spring or you've met them already and they're watching you from behind the scenes. Uh, something is going on. You may also meet this person through the computer, okay, because the computer is there. Maybe you haven't seen their face yet. This card can mean so many things. This is an intuitive deck. This is the deck that I made. So this card doesn't have to mean that somebody is watching you from behind the scenes but it appears to be that way 
but it could also be that you have not seen this person's face yet. You've never seen this person's face, but they are a soulmate and you are going to reu reunite with them during this time, okay? Keep that in mind. Your soulmate may, may be an Aries. I don't know. Um, maybe you met this person six months ago. Who knows? But we do have six months in the future. Okay, we got the future position over here. We have a partnership, a union that is probably going to be happening maybe probably in six months from now. Um, spring is about blossoms. It's when the seeds start to grow. So something is happening right now. These, these are actually open. Okay. These, these, these blossoms are actually opened up. So I think that something is about to open up for you. This younger woman is in the past. So I don't know if you are dealing with somebody who was dealing with a younger woman and this younger woman is in the past. So there is going to be a soulmate reunion. If you are already in a coupled relationship, you know, I think that, you know, maybe maybe you're dealing with somebody that's going to reunite with their soulmate. I mean, I just got to be honest here. Or you maybe you've been fighting with somebody and you're going things are going to get better. You know, that could be the case as well. There, but I feel like with with this card right here, there's there's something that is unseen, that is hidden, that is behind the scenes, put it that way. Um, I feel for a lot of you, you, uh, somebody could also be communicating with somebody through the computer and they're hiding it and it could be a, somebody from their past. And I don't know how that resonates with you, but I do feel like, uh, there is something that is hidden. Um, there is some sort of reunion that is going to be affecting your partnership or your independence or your life. In the next six months I would say six months from now so it's like May June July August September October October things are maybe maybe things are starting to blossom right now by the looks of things um, so what do we have for Gemini what do we have for Gemini Oh, well, we got to take them when they, you know, I, would, I don't understand why people put them back in the deck when they fall out. When they fall out, they fall out for a reason. That's spirit talking. Queen of Cups reversed. Here we go. Four of Coins reversed. Opening up. Somebody's going to be opening up. I think we have a younger woman who may have been emotionally immature. Um, this is sadness. It is heartbreak. The the Queen of Cups. This the the Queen of Cups in reverse is heartbroken. It's sadness. It's tears. It's emotionally unavailable. Um, I don't know if there's some sort of disappointment here. It's some sort of emotional disappointment. Somebody may have shut down their emotions for another person. They have stopped uh, giving their heart away. Hangman reversed, five of cups, grieving, these cards, they always stick, six of coins, and five of swords reversed. So the five of swords reversed can mean so many things. In this instance, I feel like it's some sort of peace talks. It's like uh, somebody may even be apologizing or... This is the end of a conflict. It's the end of a battle. Um, somebody has become enlightened. This is a, a spiritual awakening. So I'm not sure. Maybe you're dealing with somebody who has gone through a spiritual awakening or you're going through a spiritual awakening. This is all done sacrificing, all done waiting, getting up. Uh, I'm not sure if something is coming back around, uh, something that is coming back around that has deserted you in some way. Um, grieving over a loss, letting go, letting go, letting go of regrets. This is letting go of regrets, letting go of the pain. Somebody has been suffering. They're about to receive something that is going to bring balance into their life. They're about to receive a gift. An offer is coming from somebody that I feel has been closed off emotionally. And I feel like they've been closed off emotionally. Maybe they were just emotionally immature. And I do feel like we have something that is about to open up. 
somebody has been uh, wasting time, not really wasting time, they've been going through a spiritual awakening, okay? They've been going through a, a time of enlightenment, and now they are ready. They are ready to, uh, or they're going to be ready. Maybe they're going to be going through an awakening in the next six months, because six months is underneath. Somebody may have been trying to prove a point. This is somebody who, the Five of Swords and the Hangman are both the ego cards. It really is. So I feel like somebody may have had a big ego and their ego is dissipating. Um, they may have been very stubborn, miserable uh, with that Four of Coins. Upright is stubbornness. It's, it's, it's somebody that is very stubborn and and miserable it's like a miser somebody is very focused on money and everything but love everything but a relationship i feel like we have somebody here that has some regrets they've been grieving over uh, maybe you've let them go it feels like maybe you have let them go you are no longer engaging in them i feel like um this person has gotten some sort of a wake-up call or something like that if this is somebody new that is coming in which it certainly could be this person may not have been emotionally in available in the past and they weren't looking they were going through a period of self-healing maybe they were chewed up and spit out and betrayed and belittled and abused and they weren't ready for a partnership this is definitely about a partnership okay it is with the twos and this is a soulmate partnership because underneath it we have the soulmate reunion here i feel like you have a soulmate that is is watching you okay this person is watching you or they if you haven't met them yet uh, you're gonna meet them soon i would say that you'll meet them this spring this spring if you haven't met them already or you may have met them in the spring I feel like springtime is very prominent. Spring is right in the present energy. Presently, whoever you're dealing with is having regrets. They are having regrets. They are grieving. They are sad. They are crying over the loss. Okay, I feel like they are crying over the loss that you have that, you know, whatever the loss is. Maybe they lost love. Maybe I feel there's definitely some sort of betrayal there. Whether they lost you or they lost another person, this is feeling defeated. You know, there's nothing left to prove. I just want to be happy. Somebody is done needing to prove themselves. They are done waiting and they just want happiness now. And I feel like, uh, so there could be some sort of peace talks that are coming. You know, somebody may, may, if this is somebody from your past, they may want peace. They may even come to apologize. If this is somebody new that you are running into, this is somebody that um, has been betrayed and hurt very, very badly by somebody in their past. And they probably... Um, are looking for somebody that can that is going to reciprocate and is going to treat them fairly and bring equality into their life whoever this person is whether it's somebody from your past or somebody new this is somebody that is going to give you what you deserve they're going to reciprocate they are going to uh, open up to you in a very big way because this is definitely opening up um, letting go of something, letting go. Some, this is seriously letting go, letting go. Just want to be happy. Somebody is letting something go because they have really been sad. There's some sort of prolonged grief here. I feel like this this week you and I'm not sure. Maybe maybe somebody is maybe you know you may be receiving some news that maybe makes you let go of somebody i mean i gotta be honest there is definitely grieving over and needing to let go so this is grieving let go let go don't hang on you know i feel like there's some sort of it's interesting because i feel like there's some sort of partnership that is coming to an end but I feel like this or but I feel like the partnership that comes to an end leads to a soulmate reunion, which is very, very interesting. I feel like you also have somebody here that is very jealous of you. 
that is extremely jealous of you and this is this is a hater okay you have a hater here it could be it could be a family member you know it could be a mother-in-law it could be a well, stepmother a friend that's not really a friend this person really really is jealous of you I and mean, I think that they're jealous of uh, your spirituality or their spirit they're jealous of your awakening their spirit they're jealous of your your knowledge you know your spiritual knowledge so I think that you definitely have some you could be dealing with a Pisces cancer Scorpio that is jealous of you that's who I think this person is I think that you've got somebody that um, I feel like they're really jealous of your nature for some reason um, four of coins reversed your beauty in, in male or female somebody is extremely jealous of you and they're watching you all the time it's almost like they don't want you to receive anything because of they're so jealous somebody you got you're dealing you have a selfish I know I'm changing this but I got to give you this message you have a selfish individual here that is worried about you getting the goods whatever the goods are and this could be an this could be say it's your partner's ex it could be your partner's ex I don't know who it is but there is some, it's a feminine energy but it could be a male this is a this somebody that is in a feminine energy that is very very jealous of you they hate you I'm sorry I'm sorry to give you that message. They really do. This person is revengeful and they, they don't want you to receive what is yours. So you may be going through that during this time. Somebody may be uh, messing with money behind the scenes. You know, ex like, let me give you an example. Say it has something to do with the books, you know, or the estate or something like that the money somebody may be messing with money uh, to make sure that you don't get your fair share so I, I think that that's something that you need to be aware of I feel like in six months from now uh, you are going to be set free from a situation and I think that it's bittersweet I do think it's bittersweet but it does lead to a partnership it leads to a union that is going to bring you some sort of peace you know you're going to find peace in whatever this is because that five of swords in reversed is peace and so isn't the hangman reversed it's like at peace with whatever this is um i feel like um you are going to be freed from something what is this a hostile situation you and I know I'm changing it there's a hostile situation here with the five of swords ah six of swords reverse refusing to take a new approach refusing to move on uh, in troubled in a troubled troubling situation with somebody that is very, very egotistical. You are in a situation with somebody that is uh, going to be causing you problems by the looks of things. That really sucks. Um, I feel like there's some sort of fight over money here. Or somebody maybe after money. So I think that you need to be careful. But I think it's, I think it's somebody that... I don't know. I feel like it's a family member. I, I don't know why. I feel like it's a family member that is after money. I don't feel like it's it could be a lover, but I don't think it is. I don't. For some reason, I think it's a family member that is after money, and you need to be aware. Um, you need to be very, very aware. This person is, like, stealing, and I don't even... I just feel like you got a thief here that is stealing something that is yours, and you need to be very, very careful with whoever it is that you're dealing with. Um... This person is extremely selfish. Um, it's not theirs, and they, they, but they don't care because this person doesn't have a conscience. Whew. Oh, oh, I just looked on the bottom. Page of Swords. You are dealing with, you definitely have a hater. 
This is an enemy disguised as a friend, okay? I do believe you're going to receive a message that you don't want to hear, and it may have to do with money, or you're going to receive a message from somebody that uh, pro it may make you sad, and I'm sorry to say that. Um, somebody is letting go. They are releasing. They are not holding on anymore. Uh, they've been in a troubled place. Somebody is extreme. Mental this is a... Uh, unable to move on and stuck a couple times somebody has been stuck they have been uh, in a hostile situation with an individual a snake I mean we have a snake here I feel like this is coming to an end though I feel I feel like it's coming to an end and I feel like you are um, gonna be freed from this hostile situation completely free completely cut free from this situation but it's bittersweet it's bittersweet because you know in on one hand you're losing something but on the other hand you're gaining something you are gaining one thing that you're gaining is peace and I feel like this leads to some sort of partnership with these twos and I keep looking at this two of cups you are about to receive something that is going to bring balance to your life you you are you, this is you're going to be receiving something even though this individual that you're getting it from doesn't want to give it to you it's yours it's yours so I feel like there is a message that is coming. I feel like it's a difficult message. I feel like it, uh... well, with that five of cups, it's bittersweet, whatever it is. It, it may cause some tears. I feel like there could be some tears that are shed. There could be, there's probably going to be some tears that are shed. Um, I think that you have a very sly individual that is, is behind the scenes that is, I hate to say this, that is plotting against you. And I think that you need to be very, very, very careful, okay? Um, I don't think this person is going to hurt you physically. I feel like this person is after something that is yours. And I don't know if it's a partner. It could be a partner. It could be a partner that is yours. It could be money that is yours. It is something like that. Um, so anyway, Gemini, I feel like, I feel like there's going to be a separation because of this five of cups, but the separation leads to a union. Okay. And it leads to a freedom. So it's interesting freedom from this hostile situation. So I don't, I don't know what that means for you, but I'm sure that you do. Um, you also have somebody, and I know there's a lot of messages in this reading. You have you have a secret admirer or something like that. Yes, you have a hater, but I also feel like you have a secret admirer. You have somebody here that is very curious about you, that is interested in you, and this person has not communicated with you yet. Um, I do feel like there's a little bit of an age difference. This person is probably a little bit younger than you, or you could be a little bit younger than them. Um, anyway... Twos are about choices and they are about changes. They are about faith and trust. They are about soulmates and they are about unions. So that's what this reading is about. There's about to be some changes that are that are happening. Uh, you're probably going to need to make some choices. And this does have to do with a partnership that is probably a soulmate. Good luck.